Welcome back. In this video, I will show you how to fetch all values of a pick list using Apex and store it in a list of type string and show it in developer log. So let's start. As you can see, I have already opened object manager for case object and here you can see there are four values in the pick list named status. So the four values are new, working, escalated and closed and I want to fetch all of these four values in a, a list of a string in Apex. So let me open the developer console and the anonymous window and let's start with writing our code. First of all, I will declare a list of type string. So list of type string which will hold the values, uh, all the pick list values of a case status field so pick list values list equals to new list of type string so i have created a list of type string and named it as pick list values list now i will use the schema dot describe field result to get the description of case status field for that let's write the code schema that's the namespace then describe field result and let me create a object for this class field result equals to the name of the object api name of the object which is case we want to uh, fetch the field of case object and the name of the field is status and then we will use the get describe method let me also add the comments so it will be easy for you to understand define a list to store the pick list values as strings second is now use this method this class the describe field result class of uh, schema namespace to get the description of the case status field now after doing that we will use the get pick list values method to obtain a list of all the pick list entries for the field named status so we will use the schema dot pick list entry and uh, this is the list so let's create a variable for it pick list entry ple now use the object field result and use the method which is get pick list values and the command for this is use uh, get pick list values to obtain a list of all the pick list entries for this field. The field is status. Now let's iterate. So for schema dot pick list entry and let's uh, name it pick list well and it is stored in ple so we will access it and let's try to add all the pick list values into this string which is pick list values list so pick list values list dot add and here we will add pick list well and we will get the label after that we will print it so system dot debug and the name of the variable which is pick list values list so and now let's execute the code i have selected complete code and now i will click on execute highlighted and let's wait for it so it is already executed let's click on debug only and we will see all the values new working escalated and close 
let's try for some other object so let me see uh, for uh, opportunity what is the name of the field which is of type picklist fields and relationship and here we have a field called stage name let's use this uh, so let me replace it with opportunity and let's replace it with stage name select the code and execute the highlighted part let's go to the developer console by the time it's load let me also open this and see the picklist value so there are lots of picklist value let's see if they are printed on screen or not as you can see all the values are printed here so this is how you fetch all the picklist uh, values all the available options of a picklist value from any object let me explain the code once more uh, so first of all we have created a list of a string and named it as uh, picklist values list after that we have used the schema describe field result class to get the description of the uh, picklist field after that we have used the get picklist values method of field result describe field result object to list all the picklist entries and then we have created a for loop to add the uh, entries into the variable which is picklist values list and we have used the method called get label so we can get the label of those all the pick list values and then after that on line number 14 we have printed all the options which are available for that specific uh, picklist so that's it in this video uh, I will discuss some more concept in the future videos. Thank you very much. And uh, if I, if my videos helped you, then please like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you very much.